Good morning, Quirky Birders. It's Lynn here and welcome to episode one of your daily art challenge. Um, now, it's going to be a great week this week. You've got a wonderful um, design to be working on during the course of the week. And it's the bathing bells. Um, it's good fun to paint. It's great with colour and it's very, very vibrant. And once it's mounted and framed, it really does look um, rather nice. And it's a great one to do for, um, for a bathroom. Um, it would look really nicely. Um, nice framed um, and put on display in your bathroom. So for this episode we're going to be concentrating on the drawing um, and as always I make it very very simple for you indeed. So you're going to need a pencil, you're going to need some A4 watercolour paper um, and you're going to need to just tape that down to your board. Um, because you just want to create that lovely um, sort of border, nice strong edge all the way around your painting. Now I'm working landscape, so I've put some masking tape right the way around my, um, my paper. And I've also put a broader piece of tape just at the bottom, just to give me a little bit of, um, of depth um, to the border just at the bottom of the picture. Now I've put up a um, I've put up a post um, with the line drawings um, and everything um, that's available for you, um, and you can use the line drawings um, as a point of reference, and you can also print them out and even trace these individual um, little drawings. But one of the best ways to do this picture and to ensure that all of your ladies look the same is to make yourself a very, very simple template. And that's exactly what I have done here. So I've just made myself a very, very simple little template of the ladies' bodies. And it's the template that I am then going to use all the way along my design. So make sure you print this out and then you can even just cut around your ladies to give you that template that you need. So, for the drawing of your bathing bells, you need to make yourself your template. And then you also need the top of a um, can of hairspray or um, you can use um, top of, of some polish, whatever. So it's it's just a little plastic top that you can use as a as a template to draw around to um, give your lady um, the hat that she needs. So what we're going to do is we're going to start just in right in the centre of the picture, and just place the template down in the centre of the picture, and then you can just very very lightly just draw your way around the template you just have to be a bit gentle with it because of course the template that we've used is just print just done on little bits of scrap paper so just be very very careful and then you're left with a shape a little bit like that so we're going to do our next lady. Let's make sure she's level. Come around the arms. So we've got two, and then lastly, let's just do the third one. And that's three. So once you've got your ladies in position, 
what you can then do is pop on the hats so you just want the hats coming just over the top of the the shoulders and then just drawing round your lid you've got one hat I'm going to just position the second one two and then the third three and then we'll just take away those shoulder lines that are coming into the hat like so and then what you can do is you can just take some time now to um, just put in the little extra details. So I'm going to just define these lines a little bit more. I'll come around that bottom. And then we can start to put some little swimming costumes in. So we'll give this lady just a little bikini type top. We'll do our bottoms. A little crease in her arm. And then we'll come to our next lady. So I'm just going to just sharpen up that pencil line where we've gone round the template. Now this lady's going to have a nice, a full costume on, so let's put those straps in. Scooped out back. Again, we can just pop those little creases into her arms. Let's just bring some stripes down the, the swimsuit. Now for her hat, we'll put a nice big bow on the, um, the side of the hat. So I'm just going to do the knot of the bow. And then come out both sides. I'll just put a little circle of detail in there just to give the impression that it's nice and full. And then what we need to do is just come around just to give some depth to the hat and then we'll put in a band like so. And then the next lady 
come around her shoulders and arms. And we'll pop her costume in. And we'll give her a square neck. Now this costume is going to be spotty, but we can deal with that when, we, um, when we're actually going to be painting it. And then we just need to just do a little circle within the hat. And we'll pop the ink details on that one in a little while. Let's do the same over here. Okay, so that's your three bathing bells all drawn and ready for painting. The next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to just pop in the stripy rug that they're sat upon. So keeping the lines just nice and loose, nice and wavy, you're going to come across just halfway up from the hips. another one in there because you want four so that's going to be red that's going to be white that's going to be um, red um, all the way down and then the next thing we're going to do is just put the line in for the beach and then another one for the sea and the sky and that's it for the drawing that's all you need to do um, just to complete the line drawing get yourself ready um, um, for episode two when we start to apply some of the paint color but have fun with your drawing. Like I say, make it very, very simple and easy for yourself by just making that little template of your bathing bell's bodies. And then you just need that little plastic lid to draw around to create your, um, your hat. Enjoy your drawings and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Goodbye.